You can't study the history of the Catholic Church in the United States without coming across Isaac Hacker. He actually thought that the United States of America was a natural for Catholicism. For a long time, many people asked whether it was possible to be Catholic and American. So where Hecker fits into this story, he was someone who thought about these issues long before and in a more intelligent way than a lot of people did. The American people are capable of great enthusiasm. It will produce the effects worthy of our faith and the Catholic Church. Ralph Waldo Emerson was horrified to learn that Hecker had become a Roman Catholic. I mean, this was not only a desertion, this was putting on chains and being mentally and spiritually enslaved. Because they didn't understand, who is this guy? He doesn't fit our nice schema. He's one of these God-intoxicated, God-obsessed souls. I'm especially delighted to have a part in the opening of the cause for the beatification and ultimately the canonization of Father Isaac Hecker. We canonize people not for them, we canonize them for us. And I think in lifting him up as a holy hero, what we're doing is providing opportunities for U.S. Catholics to think about what it has meant to be a Catholic in this country, what it means today to be a Catholic in this country. So in a sense, he's all American Catholics patron saint.